Interior of the Earth Concept Inside the Earth The surface of the Earth is covered by rocks and water bodies. But what about the inside of the Earth? If we were to take a look at the Earth's interior, the structure of the Earth's interior is made up of several concentric layers. Broadly, three layers can be identified. Crust, Mantle and the Core Earth's Layers The Crust Crust is the outer thin layer with a total thickness ranging from 30 to 50 kilometers. It consists of various landforms like mountains, plateaus, volcanoes, etc. The thickness of the crust varies under the oceanic and continental areas. Oceanic crust is thinner, that is 5 to 30 kilometers thick as compared to the continental crust that is 50 to 70 kilometers thick. The continental crust is thicker in the areas of major mountain systems. It is as much as 70 to 100 kilometers thick in the Himalayan region. Crust forms about 5 to 10 percent of the Earth's volume. Mohoro Vichich or Moho discontinuity forms the boundary between crust and asthenosphere. Asthenosphere is a part of the mantle. The outer covering of the crust is of sedimentary material or granitic rocks, igneous, which are acidic in nature. The lower layer of the crust consists of basaltic and ultra-basic rocks. The continents are composed of lighter silicates or silica plus aluminium, also called sial, while the oceans have the heavier silicates or silica plus magnesium, also called sima. Earth's layers, mantle. The mantle extends from Moho's discontinuity for 35 kilometers to a depth of 2,900 kilometers or Moho discontinuity to the outer core. The crust and the uppermost part of the mantle is called lithosphere. Its thickness ranges from 10 to 200 kilometers. The lower mantle extends beyond the asthenosphere. It is in solid state. It is composed of solid rock and magma. It forms 83% of the Earth's volume. The outer layer of the mantle is partly somatic while the inner layer is composed of wholly somatic ultra-basic rocks. Earth's layers Asthenosphere The upper portion of the mantle is called asthenosphere. The word astheno means weak. It is considered to extend up to 400 kilometers. It is the main source of magma that finds its way to the surface during volcanic eruptions. It has a density higher than the crusts. The mantle forms the main mass of the earth. It is the layer just under the crust. It extends from Moho's discontinuity to a depth of about 2,900 kilometers. The mantle is a partly molten layer and can have temperatures reaching to 4,000 degrees Celsius. The hot magma from the asthenosphere travels to the surface of the Earth and escapes as lava from volcanoes. Earth's layers Outer core The next layer of the Earth is the outer core. This layer is exceedingly hot. It has a temperature of about 5,000 degrees Celsius. The outer core consists mainly of liquid iron. It has a depth of 2,200 kilometers. The core's mantle boundary is located at 2,900 kilometers below the surface of the Earth. Earth's layers Inner core This layer lies between 2,900 kilometers and 6,400 kilometers below the Earth's surface. It comprises about 16% of the Earth's volume. The core has the heaviest mineral materials of highest density. It is composed of nickel and iron, or NIFE. The outer core is liquid while the inner core is solid. A zone of mixed heavy metals 
and silicates separates the core from outer layers. The core is responsible for the magnetic field of the earth. The magnetic field is generated in the inner core and the convections within the outer core result in the creation of magnetic fields. This magnetic field is what protects us from solar winds and high energy particles of the sun. Now, we all know what the earth looks like on both the inside and the outside.